Hello. We're back. back. We're We're done a mic. Buy some some banter. Um, Our Instagrams will be below because I'll ping them in. Yeah, as is our uh, circle group. Oh, that's in the description, that'll be. In the description, the link. 49 quid. 49 quid, bargain. There you go. Rave reviews so far, so. Yes. My mum said it's great. Yeah. She likes it. Mine said it was average. Yeah, that's because you speak too much on it, that's why. Yeah. But uh, she doesn't like you. But yeah. It's not a thousand pounds, you know, not like other people. Seven level of service, another. But anyway, we're here to um, help you with your business, uh, your online coaching business. We're here to talk about what we've done, what we've found that works, what you should be focusing on to help you get to the goals you've got, maybe, whatever that looks like. Um, we're going to talk through how we got from, I suppose, where we started to where we are now um, along the way. We're going to share pearls of wisdom with you. Um, this isn't about what the people have done, this is just about what we've done. And we see a lot of other people sharing shit. Uh, and they say, you have to do it this way. You must do it this way to grow, whatever. And we're here to show you that that's not true. So I don't actually know what we're talking about in this one. I know what we're talking about. Don't worry about it. Do, do you want to do your little thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope loads of people are watching. Um, and if so, uh, go and tell everybody else about it. There you go. There you go. Sponsored by Huel. <laughs> it's not. It's not, it's not no, actually. Not sponsored by Huel. 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 Spo- Come on. Send yeah. me some cash for that. You could if you, you, know. if you could. Shouldn't be, be giving away my voice for free. No, you like shouldn't, that. mate. You know. Um, so as an online coach, uh, one of the most important things that you should think about when it comes to your content is you shouldn't be worrying about what other, other online coaches are doing. You shouldn't be worrying about their content and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's important that we talk about our content a little bit and what we do uh, and why we do things the way we do it and all that sort of stuff. Now, we basically think that the online mentoring space, right? We're not business mentors. Ooh, we're not. We're just coaches. Where's this right? going? But the online mentoring space, there's a lot of people that say a lot of stuff, um, uh, when it comes to their content and they say things like, again, like they must do this, must do that. I think it's important to note that everything that we have heard about and everything that we see or we joke about, it tends to come from things that clients have told us mm-hmm. and that people have mentioned to us and they've sent us videos and they sent us sort of stuff. We don't have the time to actively sit there and seek out other people's content on that sort of stuff. Much like you shouldn't as an online coach be looking at other, people, other online coaches' content is a waste of your fucking time. Um, I think it's important that people know that clients and your prospective clients or your audience are a great way to get content. They are the people that, again, are absorbing all this other stuff and all this sort of thing. And they are a great source of pain points for you to understand, for you to kind of get to to grips with. But actually, how often do you speak to your clients? How often do you speak to them and understand the way the world is, the way the world they see it? And how can you help them solve those problems? I think it's a really untapped market. So how we do our stuff can be seen as, you know, um, we're focusing too much on what other people do. But we don't. We don't focus on what they do. We focus on their service. And we've always done this, right? Because it's the service that you are highlighting might be incorrect for certain people. So, example, you get a, a client in who their last coach they did keto with, right? You don't need to see what that coach's Instagram looks like to know that the coach is given them keto. And you, in your content, you might be like, okay, well, I had a client who um, was given keto and actually found it really difficult to stick to and was really non-adherent. And every time that they went off plan, they really went off plan. That's not targeting anybody specifically. You are um, you are targeting methodologies or, um, or principles. That's what you're doing. So when we... Um, when we say things uh, online, this is how we do things, is that we will say, okay, well, for example, let's say this, um, not everybody needs a, a VA from the Philippines. Shock mm-hmm. horror. Like, stop the press, right? Yeah. And people will think, oh, well, uh, let's just say a business mentor might take offense because, well, uh, I give all of my clients a, a VA from the Philippines or, or whatever that is, right? And you go, well, we're only saying that because not everybody does need that. Some people might get along great with that, fine. We're only saying that because not everybody, you know, needs that. But it's because we will have heard from this person, that person, this person, that person, yeah, I'm paying £300 a month and, you know, they're having conversations in my DMs that don't really make sense, that they're targeting the wrong people, that it's just becoming cluttered, that they're kind of messing things up. And it's like, <clears throat> we're attacking principles, not people. 
Yeah. I think that's the key thing is that we hear all this stuff, right? Again, half the stuff that I've heard that are being recommended by other, other mentorships and stuff, like I'm not in them. I don't know what goes on inside them. I've got no fucking clue. Actually, I, I have a very good clue. <laughs> and the reason I know that is because my clients are coming to us and saying, well, we got told you had to do this. We got told you had to do this. We got told this, this, and this. It's why we know the intricate details of these mentorships, right? And inside like what we do inside our coaching, There'll be people who go, oh, well, Dan and Mike said you have to do this. Well, no, we didn't. We don't say you have to do anything. We don't say you have to do things a certain way. And I think there's just this misconception that we're after people or that we're after attacking certain people or that we want to see the people... It's always been like that though, isn't it? Even and when and we even were, when we were coaches. Targeting, targeting even, bodybuilders. Yeah. We're not attacking people. people and, and the reason that people get so upset with it is because they, they realise that, that we're attacking the information and the only information that they provide. And that's why they feel a personal thing to it or they feel like we're having a go at them and we're not. Because we know that for some people, like having a, an upfront offer is going to work really, really well. Mm. For some people, it's going to work absolutely fantastic. And that's why we started this, right? Was to say, right, this is what we've done and how we've got. So we're not we're not wrong in what we've done. Like, this just it's just what we've done. So in our opinion, we go, well, you don't need to charge upfront, right? And when we say that, people take offence and go, Oh, they're attacking! They're attacking me because I get all my clients to charge up front. We're not attacking anything. We're just saying you don't need to charge up front because that's yeah. what we did. That's it. Like, it's the it's the it's the weirdest thing at the moment that people are really. And again, it, it, they used to do that when we're you know take, making a joke about bodybuilders and stuff. It's just principles. It's just it's just um, thought processes and our opinions. So to take it back to the um, keto thing, probably most people sat here watching this. Your opinion is that you can eat carbs. So is it wrong of you to say you can eat carbs and get in shape on your Instagram, but for fear of someone who likes keto to go, well, w- what? You, you attack it, you're attacking what I'm saying. Like, it's not wrong of you. If that's your opinion of how things should be done, so the same as us, it's like, okay, well, we know certain things about how we've done things and we can see both sides of the argument for certain things and this YouTube channel or our content is designed to go, okay, you know how you were told you've got to charge up front and actually you failed the last 10 calls. It's not you that's a failure. Mm-hmm. It's what you're, It's the principle that you've been told to sell. That's the failure. That's the failing. And again, some people, like Nan just said, will do very, very well. But if you're not, there is another way. That's all we're saying. And it's like with the keto stuff, the amount of coaches who say, um, they do the videos going, oh, this is how it works. And they go, well, it's just calories. It's just, and it's the same thing with this. It's like, we know how upfront payments work. We know that some people will sell that. And we know, we know that. We're not stupid. Like... And I think there's, well, we are. People say, oh, um, um, we're just attacking people who, who like money or whatever, or, do you know what I mean? Oh, like, no, look, look, and this is what I said this in another video, right? Everyone has different values and different things that they want out of life. If your number one value is money, and the number one thing you put the most value on is how much money you make, and you wanted to leave a good life and you want to spend that money, you probably wouldn't follow us. You probably wouldn't. You probably won't, because we don't put out that sort of content. And... We're not attacking people that do that because we like money. Of course, who doesn't? Who fucking doesn't want more money or whatever? Our principle, though, is that we want to go about it the right way, whereby we help people the right way. We give the right sort of advice that we feel ethically comfortable with. That's all we're saying. I know something we should have put in the last video. Another thing you don't need. An accountability coach. Bit late now, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah, that's that's a tag on. That's a bonus. (laughs) You also don't need an accountability coach when you're employing your staff. Why? What? To do the coaching for you? It's so... And look, it's one of those things where I think that there's enough people in the world that, are good, that can help you with build your business. There's enough people out there that can help you build this sort of stuff and show you the way. And they may be more successful than us. They may also not be. They may just shout about it. They may more. just put it front and center. And like I said, we don't shout about it. There's a reason we don't shout about it. There's a reason we won't shout about it. Maybe we will one day. Who knows? But again, it'll be done in a way that's our way of doing things. We'll buy like a pack of Lurpak butter or something. And yeah, we'll put that on, on Instagram. <laughs> it's quite a lot that these it? days. Or a full gas, a full tank of petrol. Do you know oh, something like that? Something go full. God, dear. Um, but I think it's, it's again, it's it's that thing of we're not slagging people off who who want to make more money or whose primary goal is to make more money or that's their main thing that they're plastering over the over their their Instagram. That's how they want to do it. That's great, and it's going to attract people who are that way inclined. But it's funny how we're now attracting more people who aren't that way inclined, who yeah. are a bit more like, actually, I just want to be a good coach. And I want to provide a great business. I want to provide a great service. And I want to be well rewarded for it. 
and we always come back to this where people have this misconception of are we going to pay you for it yes, yes we are very well um, there's this misconception of like money and we talk about this a lot when it comes to online coaches that they, they turn their nose up at earning like 50 grand a year and you're like do you know how good a wage that is do you know how good a wage like 80 grand is? Do you know how good a wage those numbers are? And like people are turning their nose, oh, it's not 10K a month though, is it? And why is, why is that so special? And, and again, a lot of people use that in their marketing. And look, we're not saying that we won't be able to help you get there. We're not saying that. We just don't think it should be the focus. That shouldn't be the thing that has made you, made you like successful. It's not. If you focus on the right things, I guarantee you will get there and stay there. But also enjoy it more. I've, I've got two clients at the moment that I know of, off the top of my head, that I've had calls with. They're now coaching with me. And they say that already they feel loads better without the pressure of worrying about the number that they're going to make this month and more on the processes involved to get there. Mm -hmm. Same thing you tell your clients when it comes to weight loss. Don't focus on losing 20 kilos. Focus on the kilo at a time. Focus on the day-to-day, -day, the week-to-week -week things, right? It's what makes you a good coach. It's what makes Ooh. you better. Oh, I'm going to break this in a minute. It's what makes you a good coach is that, you, arms, you is that you focus on the processes to get there. You, don't, you tell them not to focus on the outcome. And there are other coaches out there who will focus on the outcome. And that's fine. Let them do that. But you're going to get the clients that they failed come to you, right? There's enough people out there. That's our enough, angle, by the way. There's enough way of doing things. It's like we help those people who tried that way of doing things. It didn't work for them because mm -hmm. there's 95% of people it won't work for. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, so that's why we go about it. So you might hear, we've heard that we've been slagged off inside. inside. We hear stuff. Of course we are. You know. Don't care. But there's the same people in the same... Men I mean, there's one particular mentorship where I know that there's, mul there's multiple whatsapp groups that have been set up by failed students imagine that imagine f failed students having the one thing in common that they've all been failed by your service imagine 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 that imagine if that was you in your coaching business you were getting people set up whatsapp groups and talking about how bad your service was mm. um so that's how we hear about things and people will say you know i think in one of the groups we were deemed as we're just jealous because this was it we're, uh, they're just jealous because we're um because you guys are some of the uh, the one percent of coaches in the industry. That that word, <laughs> really. Because one of the people in there, at least one of the people in there, is not even a qualified coach. Um, <laughs> but again, I'm we get but, specific here. But we know that we, we again we 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 know that because people have told us right, and it's that whole. This is, comes back to this whole thing of we know these stories. We know these things happen because we've been told them. But all our information, all the content about it is attacking principles. And it's the same thing when it comes to fat loss. We did the same thing, like you said before about bodybuilding stuff. You call them out. And, and there's this whole thing around polarizing content, right? And all this sort of stuff. Some people don't need to do it. Um, if you've got hardly any followers and you've got hardly any people following your stuff, you might need to be a bit more polarizing, right? They might need to be. Someone like James Smith, for example, very, very good at it. You could argue he goes a bit too far and does actually attack people to a certain yeah. degree um, and that you don't need to go as far as that. But a lot of the time it's attacking principles. Like Ben Carpenter's very, very good at that. He attacks the principles. He's very, very, very specific. He's a very clever man. The way he does his content is he attacks principles. He never attacks the person or anything about the person or their features or anything like that, right? <clears throat> and I think that's the key thing is, is this difference between the two. And I'm sure we've overstepped the mark a couple of times before, maybe, when we were, when we were more fat loss, muscle gain stuff, maybe. But as you grow older and as you do this more, you realize it's the principles you're attacking. And when you look back over the content you create, make sure that you're attacking principles, make sure that you're following that sort of stuff because you will speak to people. Again, you'll speak to people who have been burnt by those principles, by those ways of doing things, right? Um, and I think that's the, the key thing we wanted to get out of this one is with your content is that you may be here for a reason. And when you look at our content, you look at it and go, oh, I'm here because of that reason. Try and make the same thing happen with your own content. When it comes to it, you don't need to attack people, but you can attack a message. And it's not unethical to do that because the people that are going to be hit by that and are going to resonate with that probably do need your help. So that's the that's 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 yeah. that's the game, really. So and that's it. A short one. That, that one. That was a short one. That yeah. was a bit of a short one, wasn't it? But yeah. content people worry about content so much, and I think to finish on this. When it comes to your content, to give you something valuable for this, so when we were doing content, we were like, right, we don't want to just blend in and just talk about protein swaps and cutting carbs and this is a great way of doing this. People want to hear your opinion on things. Yeah. They want your opinion and you are going to align yourself with people better if you give your opinions on stuff. However vocal you are about that, however closer to bone you may be, it's up to you, but you need to give your opinion because every Tom, Dick and Harry can talk about fat loss and talk about calorie deficit and talk about protein swaps. They need You need your opinion involved in it. And it's why when me and Mike post our content, it's usually opinionated. It might be a little bit tongue in cheek. It might be a little bit of a close to the bone or it might be some people may look at it and go, oh, they're attacking me. We're not attacking you in any way, shape or form. If you think that, that's on you and that's your ego, but we're attacking information and we're giving our opinion on information that people give out. It's... 
all of our stuff is opinion. I would have to guess if we went and looked back, it's all opinion. This is a we had a conversation with uh, one of our one of our coaches, Jimmy, the other day, and I, I said to, I said to him, stop focusing on trying to provide value and provide your opinion because. By definition of giving your opinion, the value will come from that opinion because you can back up what you're saying with your knowledge and your results. Give your opinion on things. So this is relevant to you guys. Give your opinion, good or bad, hero or villain, on th- on whatever, even outside of fitness. People want to know your opinions. Like because Love they get Island, to know like you. and how shit it is. No, Love Island's superb. <laughs> you are a liar. <laughs> and like how you're wasting you six, even know hours of your, six hours a week of your life watching other people. How do you know it's on six days a week? Because I've Googled it. Uh, Googled it because oh I nearly yeah. wrote an Instagram post about it and I was going to slag everyone uh, off. But then I realised that 99% of people watch Love Island. Correct. So All I was right. like, yeah, um, <laughs> don't, don't, don't alien myself. <laughs> so I, I told him, <laughs> stop, f- and, and this is relevant for you, stop focusing on what on value. Nobody's on Instagram for value unless you're an online coach. If you're an online coach, you might be on Instagram for value because you're probably following, I guess, people like us or mentors or whatever, right? You are there. But the average person is following... Like cats and fucking food and like it's mental. Stop trying to provide so much value. Give your opinion on certain elements and certain aspects that provide value by by default. So that's what you need to focus on. Yeah, that's it. Said it. Like it, subscribe it, comment, all of that jazz, and join our group. You know, there you go.